Hi, I'm um, Wayne Jones and I'm Litter Control Coordinator for the City of Suffolk and uh, we're out here on the Nansman River and down by Constance Wharf Marina. Um, we're organising river cleanups. Um, Clean the Bay Day is coming up on June 3rd. Um, it's going to be for canoers, kayakers, small boats. Um, we're asking people to register on the uh, Chesapeake Bay Foundation website. Um, but if you want to contact me directly at littercontrol at suffolkva.us or call me on 514-7604. I can help you get registered. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to launch our canoes, kayaks from the new kayak launch. Um, and we're hoping to get in to all the um, little areas, the little nooks and crannies where all the plastic bottles and plastic bags and all that type of debris collects. Um, and it'll be a three hour event. It's a lot of fun. Um, you'll meet some great people. Um, it's a good excuse just to get out on the river. Um, and I'll give you all the equipment. Um, we've got these special six foot long grabbers, which helps us get into the, to the wetlands areas. Um, which makes it a lot easier. Uh, we did it last year and we had a fair few people come out but this year we'd like a lot more um, and to make use of the great facilities that Parks and Rec have built. Um, so come on out June 3rd, it's a Saturday, it'll be from 9 to 12 um, and like I say you can contact me for more information about how to get registered. Uh, hi, my name is Ray Powell, I'm president of the Suffolk Nassman chapter of the Isaac Walton Bee. We are a, a small grassroots organization, a nonprofit conservation group, and we have adopted this stretch of the river. Our uh, focus is on Suffolk and the surrounding areas in terms of uh, promoting environmental issues and conservation and also education. And we have uh, cleaned up the river three times already. Uh, last uh, cleanup, we had over, uh, I guess, maybe 50 tires and approximately uh, same number of bags and a good number of participants. And so if you want to find out more information about our chapter, you can find us online. Our website is sniwla.org. Hi, I'm David Keeling, environmental specialist with the city of Suffolk. Wayne and Ray have already talked some about what you can do on the river as far as cleanups, but you should also remember that you live in a watershed of the river. So things that happen in your yard have a, can get to the river via the stormwater system. So. As we come into spring and you start thinking about fertilizing and lawn care, some things you can do is testing your soil before you fertilize so you don't use more than you need. Uh, when you're cutting your grass, you can mulch your grass clippings and leave them on the yard and that reduces your need for fertilizer. And things like washing your car, you can do on your lawn instead of your driveway. So the things you wash off your car, different pollutants and even the soaps have a chance to infiltrate into the grass before they reach our stormwater system. Also remember that the storm drains are there only for rainwater and only rain should go down the drain. It's not there for you to dump chemicals or paint, use cooking oil or motor oil. Um, and also you should definitely not use it as a place to dispose of your used, um, of your grass clippings or lawn waste. Um, so remember that everybody lives in a watershed right here. We're on the Nansman River. Some other major watersheds are the Chowan and the Great Dismal Swamp. And things that happen in your yard have have the possibility to impact these rivers without you even realizing it.